Hello and welcome to our Brunel webinar, Five Must Knows About Your MBA. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be moderating our webinar. Today we are going to play a rebroadcast uh, from a webinar that was recorded a few months ago, but rest assured all of the information is still accurate. After the rebroadcast, we will have a live Q&A session with two success coaches, I'm sorry, two enrollment and success coaches who have joined us this afternoon. If you have any questions during the course of the webinar, go ahead and click on the Q&A button that you see at the bottom of your screen, and we will do our best to answer your questions at the end of the webinar. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started, um, and you will learn five, knows, five must knows about your MBA. Hello and welcome to our Brunel University webinar, Five Must Knows About Your MBA. Thanks for joining us. My name is Katie and I am going to be moderating our webinar today. To begin with, let's cover the agenda and I'll tell you a little bit about what we're going to talk about this afternoon. So now we know that going back to school is a big decision in normal times, but especially now. So what we've done is spoken to our students, our faculty members and your hosts today to distill this comprehensive list of things that you should know about starting your MBA at Brunel before August, uh, our August start date rolls around. So during our time together today, we will cover quite a bit. The first thing we'll talk about is the value of your MBA. Now we at Brunel specialize in adult education. So we know that many of you are probably looking for something to help you with your career. And we'll cover exactly how an MBA can help you with that. Secondly, we will talk about the experts and the practitioners that you will be learning from here at Brunel and why learning from expert faculty members will help you not only with your education, but your career as well. After that, we will discuss what makes learning, or I'm sorry, earning a Brunel MBA unique. And then of course, we'll discuss how the MBA works. Now, some of you may be new to online education. Some of you may be old pros, but We'll talk through the specifics of the online program and what you can expect to uh, experience here at Brunel. Last but not least, we will cover a very popular topic here at Brunel, our fast track MBA option. So we can help you understand how you can finish your program really quickly. After that, we will have a Q&A portion. With that in mind, I'd like to call attention to the Q&A button that you see at the bottom of your screen at any time during the webinar. If you have a question, just go ahead and type it into that button uh, and we will make sure that our hosts will try their best to address that at the end of our webinar. Speaking of hosts, let me introduce you to them. First, we are joined by Greg Bonessi, who is the enrolling manager here at Brunel University. So from the moment that you inquire about, uh, about Brunel to the moment that you finish your application, Greg is your guide. He manages a team of enrollment coaches, and I'm sure many of you have probably already worked with an enrollment coach who has helped you apply to Brunel, so you might be familiar with the process. But if you're still in the application process and you have questions, Greg and his team can help you out. Then once you begin classes at Brunel, you will start working with Lindsay Traub, Traub, who has also joined us today. Now, Lindsay is our MBA success coach, so she works directly with all of our MBA students to ensure that they have all of the support and the direction that they need while they are working on their program. Greg and Lindsay, thanks for joining us today. I'm gonna to go ahead and turn the time over to Greg so he can kick things off and talk a little bit about the value of a burnout MBA. Thank you, Katie, appreciate that and welcome everybody. The, as you can see on your screen, we've provided you with some statistics that are provided by the Graduate Management Admission Council. Now this is a survey done of MBA students nationwide and it's gonna give you some perspective on what the value of the MBA degree is to those students. So this is put together by people just like yourself, except they are those who have graduated. Uh, and they're very, very important to remember as you're making your decision to move forward. 86% of MBA graduates said that their degree prepared them for leadership roles, so to take on more to grow and develop in their career. 85% of the MBA graduates said their degree better prepared them for their chosen careers. And 82% of MBA graduates said their degree increased their earnings where they're working. So depending on what you're looking for, maybe it's leadership roles, maybe it's to advance in your career or change your career, or it's to make more money. The MBA program is able to provide you with that. And that's how our curriculum is developed with these goals in mind to help you advance as a, as a business professional or a professional in your chosen setting. Now, like I said, these were put together by the Graduate Management Admission Council. However, Lindsay is going to show you a different perspective one that I think you'll like to hear because that's the perspective of a current student here at Brunel. So Lindsay, take it away. 
Yes, thank you, Greg, and welcome, everyone. So just kind of going off of what Greg was saying as far as the MBA program um, preparing students for leadership positions, this is a direct quote taken from one of my current students, Cheyenne. She'll be graduating with her MBA degree in December, and she says that choosing to get my MBA has benefited me in preparing me to take on more demanding roles, and it has heightened my confidence in pursuing more long-term strategic positions. Um, I work very closely with my students, and it is so exciting when you consistently hear them saying that the material they are covering in the classes is very applicable to their day-to-day -day work life and it gives them confidence to pursue their ultimate goals. So a huge benefit to the MBA program is your faculty members. We have experts in the field. Um, they are giving you real life experience. Just to name a few, we have Dr. Erickson, who is our Dean of the College of Business and Communication. She's also a published author of numerous academic articles as well as her own textbook. And we also have Dr. Miller, who is the director of our healthcare management program. He is also a medical doctor and Lumpkin County Commissioner advocating for better healthcare law and policies. And then we have Dr. Arun, who is the director of our finance programs. Um, he's also a current financial advisor for several startup companies, which is listed there. Um, but as you can see, these are just a few examples of the many professionals you'll encounter at Bernal who are providing you with real world experience. And then at that, I will go ahead and hand it back over to Greg. All right, perfect. Thank you. Um, what you're seeing on your screen now is, is detailed why Bernal for your MBA. And one of the big reasons that you just saw, of course, is our esteemed faculty members and all the experience that they bring to you uh, as a student. So a wonderful group of people there to work with and to learn from. Thanks to our faculty and our curriculum, our MBA program has been ranked in the top three programs in Atlanta by the Atlanta Business Chronicle. So now we've looked at the MBA perspective from the national perspective. We've looked at it from a student's perspective, and we're also taking a look at it from uh, the local perspective. So our program is built uh, with your career goals in mind and, and has been very successful in that, including this recent ranking. And if we jump to the next slide, I'll talk a little bit about how the program works. So uh, just, just uh, overall viewpoint of the program. The program is 100% online. Now we take the 14 week semester and we break it up into two seven week sessions. So your classes will actually be seven weeks long, not 14 to 16 weeks long. Um, and, and you will take them, you know, typically in, in succession. This allows you to graduate in 24 months if you're only taking one class at a time. So if you're, you're busy at work and you want to be a part-time student, you can take one class at a time and graduate with your MBA in two years. We do have another option, which I'll get into here in a little bit. But first, I want to hear or have Lindsay tell you a little bit more about the perspective from one of you, one of our students. Yes, thank you, Greg. Um, so this is Cheyenne, again, one of our current students, and she said that having the flexibility to work at my own pace was what I needed. I enjoyed being able to pace my own learning experience and logging into the classroom from anywhere at any time. Even though I'm not physically at the campus, my advisors and coaches are there with me every step of the way, encouraging me to excel. Um, so something that's nice with the MBA program is there's no set time that you have to log in. It's really up to you and your schedule as long as you're adhering to the due dates in the class. So students even can still take their vacations. I have them log in on from wherever they're at and still be able to get homework and classwork done and not have to worry about that interfering with their schooling and program. And I'll give it back over to Greg. All right. Thank you. So as you can see, I, I alluded to this a moment ago um, with the two years that it would take to take your program, taking one class per session. However, as an MBA student in the general MBA, which is not including one of the concentrations, you actually have the option of cutting your time to graduate in half by fast tracking your MBA, which allows you to graduate in 12 months. Now, the way you do this is, is by doubling up. You would take two classes per session. So instead of one class every seven weeks, 
like you would have in the traditional setting. You can take two per every seven weeks and graduate with your MBA in just 12 months. A great option if you're looking to, to fast track your career, if you want to advance, if you need that credential for a specific position, uh, there's a lot that you can do by graduating in just 12 months. So another good option there. And now we will move into our live Q&A session. Now, before we do a couple of reminders, first of all, I see that a few of you joined us a little after we started, which is fantastic. Welcome to our webinar today. Um, we are going to be having a Q&A session, but if you take a look at the bottom of your screen and you, you'll see a Q&A button, questions for Greg or Lindsay, go ahead and top it, type them in there and we will uh, make sure we do our best to see if they can answer. And then we also want to cover a, a kind of item, a couple of uh, items of housekeeping. First up, the next time classes start here at Bernal are on January 11th, which is going to be here sooner than sooner than we know it. So uh, if you are in, if you want to apply, if you haven't applied, maybe if you've started your application and you just have a few questions about it, certainly feel free to give our coaches a call at 888 337-2906 or email them at success at ags.brenau.edu and they will be able to answer any of the questions that you have. And I will go ahead and, and type that into the chat of this webinar so that you can see it, uh, so that you can jot those that contact information down. Also, as a reminder, we are hosting yet another webinar in five days, so on November 9th, um, which is next Monday. Uh, we are hosting a webinar called Your Online Dream Team. Now here at Burnout, we have a really unique uh, per, the unique way that we help our adult students, and that is by ensuring that you have access to enrollment coaches, success coaches, financial aid teams, academic advisors, so on and so forth. The list really goes on. So on November 9th at 6 p.m. Eastern time, um, we will be hosting a, another webinar about the kind of support that you can expect to find here at Burnout. Um, so we'd love to see you there. If you'd like to sign up as well, you can visit the URL on the page. Now, with that said, we're going to turn our time over to our Q&A session. And again, if you have a question, please feel free to type it into that box. But in the meantime, it looks like a few have already come in. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started. And I am going to ask Greg this, because um, I know this is something that he deals with every day, day in and day out. Greg, this person wants to know, is there financial aid or scholarships available for MBA students? Great question and one that we do get all the time, like like you were saying. There's definitely financial aid available for our MBA program. Now, financial aid is driven by the FAFSA, which is the free application for federal student aid. We'll walk you through that process of doing the FAFSA. You don't have to do it on your own if you don't want to. As, a, as an MBA student, you may be familiar with it from your undergraduate days, depending on how much time has passed since you did that. Scholarships are largely on the side of the student, meaning the student is, is the one responsible for locating those, applying for them. But I heavily encourage it because there's lots of unused scholarship money out there and opportunities for students to obtain a scholarship to help fund their education. However, a scholarship or not, there is uh, financial aid funding available for our students. Now, the amounts that you can borrow are different from an undergraduate student than they are for a graduate student. At the graduate level, you can borrow $20,500 per year in graduate level funding with an aggregate limit, which means the most you can borrow of $138,500. And that is at the yearly rate as well as overall rate less than the amount of the tuition for the program. So there is enough funding available uh, to fund your education and it all begins like i said it all begins with filling out that fafsa the free education for federal student aid which we can help you with great thank you so much greg i know that that is a question that's at top of mind and a lot of uh, uh for a lot of people these days now lindsay this next question that came in i'm going to ask you because i know that you work um one-on-one -on -one with all of our students can you tell me what type of um what type of assignments do mba students complete this person wants to know is it a mix of research papers is there clinical experiences, what can they expect from getting their MBA online? Yeah, absolutely. So it does depend on the instructor. So it can vary a little bit, but what I typically see is there are research papers, um, there are exams and quizzes and discussion boards and participation. Okay, thank you so much. So it sounds like they get a good mix of, of different types of assignments. Yes. Perfect. And then while I've got you here, Lindsay, can you tell me, is there a set time to log in every week? This person wants to know, do they have to attend um, particular uh, uh, lectures at a specific time? Or can you walk us through that structure a little bit? 
Yeah, that is a great question. And the nice thing is that there is no set time that you have to log into classes. So it's really based on your schedule, what works best for you, um, as long as you're adhering to the due dates that are in your classroom, which are outlined for you in there. Um, so that's, you know, a huge benefit. Okay. Uh, as far, also with the Zoom, sorry, with the Zoom sessions too, there are instructors who have those and they're typically scattered throughout the week. So if a student can't attend at like 6 p.m. at night, for instance, they offer a different day and time and a lot of instructors record them as well for students. Sorry, wanted to add oh, that. No problem. That's okay. That's okay. I know Zoom kind of rules our lives these days, doesn't it? So it's good to see that professors are keeping up to date. Uh, with those types of yeah. those types of assignments. So um, this question is for Greg. Somebody just asked, can you double up on classes and take two at a time? The MBA program is unique in the sense that you can do what's called a fast track MBA and you would actually work with your success right. coach. Oh, like, there he is. Can you hear me now? I can. I think maybe that was on my end, some technical that's okay. I'll start over. I didn't get through much. Uh, the MBA program is unique in the sense that you can do what's called a fast track MBA, which is doubling up and taking two courses per session or four per semester and finishing that program uh, within about a year. And that is actually coordinated through your success coach like Lindsay uh, to, to work with you on that scheduling and make sure they're able to get those classes. Our courses are set in a specific sequence, so you don't want to just schedule those on your own. When do you get to that point? Lindsay would help you out with that course scheduling and making sure that we pick the right classes. However, it is a great benefit to be able to fast track that general MBA, which means not a concentration uh, and, and get that finished in a year's time, which has been attractive to a lot of our students, especially online working students who want that credential to advance in their career. Okay, thank you so much, Greg. And while I've got you here, Pamela asks a question, what is the cost per course of the MBA? Great question. I'm going to go ahead and pull that up in front of me because we do update it from time to time, and I want to make sure that we always have the uh, the correct amounts. So, the tuition for all of our graduate programs is $742 per credit hour, and that is a 24 credit cost of $17,808, which is a typical high end of an academic year is that you would take 24 credits over the course of that academic year. The fast track program, you might take a little bit more. However, just so you know, in addition to that, uh, you have books that could be associated with that and books can vary. We estimate the book cost over an academic year to be about $1,050. And what can change is the type of books you buy. You might get new books versus used books, rent them, get digital versus physical. There's a lot of ways to control the cost of your books. And then we have a 1% institutional and instructional development fee. That's 1% of your registered tuition as well. And that covers all of the fees that are associated with the graduate program. Now, I know that's a lot of information to absorb during, during a webinar. So talking with your enrollment coach, we can definitely go over those in detail email those amounts over to you as well so you have them and, and review those. If you didn't quite get every number during that conversation, we can definitely get that information into your hands. Thank you so much, Greg. And I'd also, uh, you know, to add to what Greg says, part of your tuition cover also, or tuition cost also covers having a success coach um, and all of kind of the support staff that we will be covering in next week's webinar. Um, so it looks like we have one question left. Um, and if anybody else has some further questions, I ask you to submit them now um, so that we can make sure we cover them. And um, this question is um, for, I think I'll have uh, Lindsay ask that, or cover this. I think that you covered this a little bit, but can you remind us how long do each classes last? Um, are you taking these like a traditional semester, like someone may have um, when they attended college before, or kind of walk us through the structure of those courses? Yeah, absolutely. Great question. Um, our, we have year-round semesters, so we have spring, summer, and fall, and the semesters are all 14 weeks long, but they are broken up into seven-week session classes. So you'll have one class for your first seven weeks, and then typically there's a little break in there, and then you'll start up your second class for that second seven-week session. Um, there's also breaks in between semesters, which is really nice. We have the winter break as well. So coming up here, it's on December 4th. Students have over a month off. So it's nice in that the breaks are built in 
for your program so you don't have to take breaks outside of that. You have some time to recharge and have a breather. Okay, thank you so much, Lindsay. Thanks, Greg, for your expertise in covering these questions for us. Um, that about wraps up our Q&A session of our webinar, but just to remind everyone who's attending, we do have classes coming up soon. The next classes start on January 11th. Um, so we recommend that you get your application in and submitted so that you can be admitted by the time the holidays roll around and you can just kick back and relax and enjoy your holidays with your family. Now, if you have questions about that application process, um, give us a call at 888-337-2906 and Greg and his team can, can help answer the questions you might have about the application process or about the, the curriculum you'll be studying or really anything else. They are the experts on our MBA program. Um, so any question you have, I'm sure they're up for the challenge. And then one last reminder, again, we do have that webinar on November 9th, of your online dream team. And this is about um, not just Greg and Lindsay and what they do, but all of the other support staff that you get access to as a Bernal student and how they can kind of help offload the burden of, of your university experience and make it a good one. So we'd love to see you there. Um, and for now, we thank you for joining. We will leave the screen up for just a couple minutes so you can jot down those numbers and those, and those URLs, but we hope to see you on November 9th. And more importantly, we hope to see you on January 11th. So thank you and take care.